Hey guys, welcome to Sustainable Truth. Tesla AI Day 2 event is finally here and the progress is huge. I'll be highlighting the main key points. There is a lot to cover, so let's waste no time and jump into the video. There was over 3 hours of video and information, so this video is going to cover Tesla bot only. Full self-driving and Dojo will come in separate videos. Uh, welcome to Tesla AI Day 2022. We've got some really exciting things to show you. I think you'll be pretty impressed. So should we, should we bring up the bot? Tesla bot number one, Bumble C. The bot is performing without any safety equipment on stage for the first time. It was developed in around 6 months. It runs the same Vision hardware that runs in Tesla cars. This robot is called Bumble C. and is the first prototype with off-the-shelf parts. So the robot can actually do a lot more than we just showed you. We just didn't want it to fall on its face. Uh... Yeah, we wanted to show a little bit more what we've done over the past few months with the bot. And just walking around and dancing on stage. Uh, just humble beginnings, but uh, you can see the autopilot neural networks running as is, just retrained for the bot uh, directly on that, on that new platform. That's yeah. my watering can. Yeah, when you, when you see a rendered view, that's, that's the robot What's the, that's the world the robot sees. So it's, it's it very clearly identifying objects, that, like this is the object it should pick up, picking it up. Um. We use the same process as we did for Autopilot to collect data and train neural networks that we then deploy on the robot. Uh, that's an example that illustrates the upper body a little bit more. And Something that we'll really like, try to nail down in a few months, over the next few months, I would say. Uh, to perfection. They have gone further and made a second generation prototype using fully Tesla developed technology. The second generation wasn't ready to walk during the show, but should be able to do it in the upcoming weeks according to Tesla. It was designed in the same way as the car for ease of manufacturing and scaling. Optimus is, I think, appreciated by very few people. <laughs> As usual, Tesla demos are coming in hot. Elon notes that there are a lot more impressive robot demonstrations, but they are missing a key component, software. They are also expensive and are built in low volume. At this point, Elon is guessing that the robot is going to cost around $18,000. There is still a lot to be done, therefore Tesla is actively hiring for this development. Implications of the robot The robot, when fully functional and in large numbers, will have the potential to let us have unlimited economy size and bring a future of abundance and no poverty, a fundamental transformation of civilization as we know it. Tesla wants to make sure that the transformation is positive and safe. Elon emphasizes Tesla to be a good entity for it, as it is a public company and it's controlled by its shareholders. Progress made over the year The first prototype was done in 6 months and they were working on the next generation robot in parallel also working on upgrades for the first generation since its completion. Latest generation is focused on in-house technologies and manufacturing practices. They want to stay close to human form as much as possible, but they strip down the robot to basics for now. 
as they want to progress to scalable useful proof of concept as soon as possible. They are also working on lowering power consumption etc. Putting heavy focus on cost and efficiency, same as with the cars. It will have 2.3 kWh battery, which should be enough for full day's operation. Also battery management tools integrated all in one place. They are leveraging Tesla supply chain infrastructure for manufacturing the bot. Structure for mass production. They are using Tesla car crash complex simulation to design Tesla bot for fall and damage minimization so that the bot would be able to get back up and continue without much damage. It's also looking into different stresses on the hardware during different real-world tasks. They are using human knee and spire joints. Also leveraging similarities from car drivetrains to robots limb actuators. Using analysis of the torque curves for different movements, they are narrowing down to reduce the number of unique actuators to allow for mass production, bringing the cost down. They have settled for 6 unique actuator types. You can check out the full video for more details on the actuators. A half ton, 9 foot concert grand piano. Hands of the robot. The reason for using the robotic hand is that factories around the world are designed for a human hand interaction. They have 6 actuators and 11 degrees of freedom in the hands. They can carry a 20 pound bag or use tools as well as precision grip for small parts. Also has a clutching mechanism for grabbing objects. Software of the robot. Many things from the car full self-driving have been brought directly into the robot. They just had to recollect the training data. They used the same depth rendering and introduced new techniques for visual navigation. Evolution of walking. They had to overcome some challenging aspects as walking is much different than cars. Balance, coordinated motion and planning. They do go quite in depth on those as well, so if you're interested, check out the full video. The team is focused on smoothening out the technologies within the next few months and get a robot to start working in Tesla factory to have a proof of concept. My own take on this is that I was not expecting this much progress in 6 to 8 months. There are a lot more advanced robots today, but the pace of Tesla's progress is unmatched. And the key is that they are already running full self-driving software on it, which puts them ahead of everyone in terms of software. It will be interesting to see what the future holds. Guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoy, hit like and subscribe. It helps you to promote this content. I want to provide value to as many as I can, so this helps a lot. Any thoughts or feedback would be much appreciated in the comments below. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next one.